Okay, close your eyes. Focus on the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. And ask yourself if the breath is comfortable. You can try long breathing for a while to see how that feels. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to see what your body needs right now. Does it need short breathing, long breathing, deep, shallow, heavy, light? And see if you can keep your mind with the breath so you can tell. If you're not paying careful attention, it's hard to judge what's good for the body and what's not. So you want to be right here all the time. And the more continuous you can make your awareness, the more you begin to see what kind of breathing is having what kind of an effect. When the Buddha came to awakening, it was basically seeing a principle of causality, how certain causes have certain effects. That's how he boiled down his waking experience in the shortest possible way. Some causes have effects immediately, some causes have effects over time. So you have to be here over time to see which kinds of causes are having which kinds of effects. So keep careful watching your mind. If someone were to take a picture of your mind right now, what would it, what would it be? Is it running all over the place or is it staying in place? There's one passage where the Buddha says that there are people in the world who can read minds. And so you ask yourself, what kind of mind am I giving them to read right now? And of course you hope that they'll be kind and understanding, realizing that the vast majority of the people in the world have minds that are like bird's nests. But little bits of things here and there that they've picked up from who knows where, all tangled together. But there are a few people whose minds are clear and clean, and you want to make your mind that way. So if someone were to take a picture of your mind, it would look good. It wouldn't be a mess. And when your mind is in good shape like this, then the things you're going to do and say and think are going to be good, too. That's the real benefit. Because after all, we're not doing this to show off to other people. We're doing this because we realize that our actions come from our minds. And if the mind is not well trained, you have no control over your actions. But if the mind is well trained, okay, then you can decide what you want to do and you can stick with it. So train your mind to stay with the breath. So you can learn how to trust your mind. And it's not going to tell you to do things that you're later going to regret. Or if it does tell you to do those things, you say, nope, I'm not interested. That way you can be at peace with yourself. And when you're at peace with yourself, that peace spreads around you as well.